Hi guys, welcome to another one of my vlogs. I know it has been some time. I think it was May since I posted the last vlog, but I'm always very busy um, with a toddler or even more. Is he a toddler already? Uh, he's 10 months old now. <laughs> I'm not sure yet if you can call it a toddler, but he is crawling around in the room and yeah, throwing uh, toys and other stuff around. <laughs> So um, yeah, it's very busy most of the time. At the moment he is sleeping because he slept till 5 a.m. and then at 5.15 he started to cry and he was crying till almost 8 a.m. So he's a little bit tired now. And he's sleeping there. It's, that means that I've got time to um, yeah, clean the house and put the things that he was throwing around away. So I already did most of that. That is his pyjama and socks. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff standing around that I want to put away. I already put away his toys. I put the laundry in the washing machine. So that will be finished, I think, in a few minutes. I have to put away my shoes. I'm going to give this to charity these are the shoes that I have to put away <laughs> in the cupboard and I want to make an Instagram picture of my shoes and his shoes and I think these are so cute <laughs> he's wearing them a lot another thing that I want to put away but I have to make a picture first I made some chutneys these are plum chutneys from our plum tree with some onions and herbs and cinnamon this is from our pear tree um, with what did i put in here yellow pepper thyme and um, of course pears and onions and ginger ginger is also in here um, we already ate one and the second one we opened is in the fridge and the other stuff yeah i have to put away this is one with tomatoes too in it so it's plum tomato cinnamon and onions yeah i made these i think two weeks ago or three weeks ago and i have not really had the time to put them away but today i'm going to oh my god i love autumn and i love this weather i love september and october and the cold colder months so I'm really looking forward to autumn. Summer is officially over now. Yeah. And I'm a happy person. <laughs> I'm going to um, make a photo book now because this is going to be the Christmas present for his grandparents. And uh, there are so many pictures because I'm always taking between 100 and 300 pictures a day of this little guy. So I have to go through a lot of pictures and put them into a picture book. And because there are so many pictures, I have to start now in September to finish uh, right before Christmas. And that's what I'm going to do now on my computer. Yesterday I started with January, I finished January. And now it's time for February. Hi, it's already the next day. Today is Tuesday the 3rd of September 2019 and I'm um, getting ready to go on my little field, so to my little garden because I'm giving it up um, after this year. So this will be the last season that I'm spending there and I'm trying to remove all the uh, stones that we put there the big big rocks and stones so yeah I'm getting ready it's 2 p.m. already um, my baby boy is on a walk with his grandma mommy is going to work on the field and carry a lot of stones so uh, I'm going to take you with me and I'm not sure yet how much I can show you because I will be very busy and I hope that I can finish today, fingers crossed for that, um, with all the stones. It's a little bit windy but a very sunny day today and I have to uh, get down the laundry later because it's dry now and I have to 
uh, put all the stuff in the cupboard. But for now, let's have a look outside. So it looks a little bit different than yesterday. It's sunny but windy and not as hot as in the last weeks. Thank God for that. We had it around 32 to 34 degrees Celsius. It was horrible. And now it has around 20 to 22. And yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Just want to tell you why I'm giving the garden up. First of all, I love to spend time with my baby boy and I don't really have time to um, care about the garden anymore. And secondly, there is so much weed and thistles everywhere. Um, this takes forever to um, take out. I'm giving this up, the thistle garden. <laughs> and I'm not the only one, there are two others who are giving their garden up because it's too much weed. You will see in a second what I mean. So um, yeah, there are many people around me looking at me, what I'm doing here and why I'm filming. I don't care about that, but I want to show you the garden now. So I'm getting my stuff here. Um, gardening gloves, my mobile phone, some sparkling water, and I'm going to um, get the gardening tools in a second. First, I have to get out of the car. The neighbors have beautiful gardens. Um, these gardens are very new. So I think their owners got them um, this year. Look at that pumpkin. There are two big pumpkins. There's another one there. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's amazing. Yeah, but no one of the ones who have them first. Look, there is another pumpkin. And there are two somewhere there. I had a lot of pumpkins last year, also big ones. But this year, not so much. There's another one. You can see autumn is coming. Um, this is my neighbor's garden. It's also a little, little bit wild. This is the other neighbor. Um, this is the only one less wild and <laughs> this is my garden. So as you can see I do not really have the time anymore to get rid of all the weed. So I'm getting these stones out of the ground again. And uh, yeah I'm also taking the apple berries and the plum tree and the apple trees. There are two apple trees. Um, back home. So let's have a look. This is the first apple that I had <laughs> in my garden. This red one. And it's the only apple that I have. However, I have 11 walnut trees. So these are the big walnut trees. And um, yeah, as soon as the walnuts are ripe, I'm getting my last harvest done here. I really love the place, but it's just too much work. I had a nice swing hanging down here and a hammock or hemrock, what are they called? Um, yeah, these are the stones that I was talking about. So I have to, I have to remove all of these. Oh my gosh, it looks horrible here. Well. These are eucalyptus plants. I love the leaves, so I'm going to take them out too. Um, but for now, they can stay here. First, I have to remove the stones. Whew, this will be a lot of work today. All right, let's start. Ooh, I'm just taking a little break. There are six. pile of I don't know how many are on there one two three four five six seven eight eight stones and 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and this little bit here. So that's what I did in 90 minutes. Okay, it's windy everywhere, so I'm trying to stay here. So this is what I did in 90 minutes. I came here at 2 p.m. Now it's 3.30 p.m. I'm a little bit tired and my arms are weak. So uh, yeah, they feel like pudding. Uh, I have to wait a few minutes and then decide if I'm going to take out the last six or if I'm going to do that tomorrow. So I'm not sure yet, but for now, yeah, this pile, this pile and the three right in front. So some are easy to take out and some are extremely hard, Whew. but it's looking good. So six stones are left and I'm going to take home, uh, I think two pumpkins. I'm leaving one here uh, so that it can get bigger. I'm going to film how I'm taking the last one out. close to 6 30 p.m. now and today is bath day so I'm going to put the little bathtub into the shower this thing into the bathtub and the little rubber ducky the ducky's name is Hubert my boyfriend named the ducky and now the duckie's name is Hubert. And what else do we need? Um, the bath oil. I have a bath oil called Barneum Hermal. Um, this is from the pharmacy that I'm working in. And Barneum Hermal is actually a soy oil bath oil. My mom also used this for my little brother some years ago. A few decades ago actually this still exists and is something great so I'm using this for my little boy so this is what we're going to need and what else do we need of course the towel here's the towel put this away and I'm going to put this on the floor because he is rolling around so much um, that I'm a little bit scared that he is rolling off the, um, what is it called? Wickelkommode. When he's asleep, I'm going to work on the photo book for my parents. Um, I finished February yesterday evening and um, I'm already working on March now. And when he's asleep, I've got more time. And yeah, I hope that I can finish March because March is the month with the most pictures. So yeah, we will see.
Wednesday the 4th of September 2019 and uh, you saw me already packing away all the stuff my little boy threw out when he was playing uh, and now we are going um, to have a nice walk in sunshine it's 9.39 at the moment I'm trying to open his bottle here because I want to put fresh water in I'm going to put you here because I'm not really able to do that when I'm just one-handed he's singing sort of in his bed because he's waiting for me to take him out and put him into his buggy okay fresh water is in here so let's have a look if we have enough snacks I never thought that I would be the mother with the snacks because I always thought oh this is so annoying I, I really didn't like that when mothers uh, came into the pharmacy with a buggy and uh, their child or their kids and they had a lot of snack boxes with them but now I'm a weird snack lady too <laughs> so yeah here are salty snacks these are pufoletten and we have another one this is the hippies he loves that and here we have some biscuits he loves this too um, but I'm trying not to give him uh, too much of this stuff because there is so much sugar in all of that and I don't like that so uh, this is really emergency uh, snacks so we are going for the walk I already put the winter um, fleece in here because it was so windy and cold yesterday okay I'm going to put a jacket on him and take him out of his bed before he starts crying you can hear him already <laughs> It reminds me of the day my little one was born. It was also a very warm autumn day. The sun was shining, there were no clouds in the sky like today. So it's beautiful. Yeah, and um, it had around 24 degrees Celsius. And, and on the next day, um, it started to rain and get really cold. But on the 20th of October 2018, it was very warm and sunny. And I was actually wearing these shoes when I went to hospital. Uh, and I was allowed to walk around. So um, my boyfriend and I were walking around in Iron City and um, also were visiting my old school and the park before I went back to hospital. Uh, I did not have contractions then and the contractions started at around 2 30 p.m. and he was born around 7 p.m. so mm -hmm. uh, it was a very fast delivery last year and he's almost one year old now so time is flying and is passing so fast and I'm so happy with my little one and he is sitting here enjoying the view don't you my dear and now after a short stop we are walking on we are marching on okay so say goodbye to the little pond here we're going now to the playground such a beautiful and quiet day I really love such days and I have a feeling that in summer such quiet days aren't really possible I don't know why but yeah I just love autumn. It feels like I can breathe again because it's not as sunny and warm as it was or hot as it was in the last weeks. It is warm but 
It has around 23 degrees Celsius, so that's fine with me. And everyone is so much calmer and more relaxed in autumn. <sighs> yeah, today is just a nice day. I really like it. Okay, and it seems like it's 10 a.m. now. Because we're uh, walking to the bakery. Change of plans. Not the playground now. Bakery. And then we're going back home and mommy is going to cook lunch. The little one is asleep, so it's time for me to make lunch. So we are going to have potatoes today with some um, different cheeses. He will have this. This is uh, different sorts of mashed vegetables and I'm going to cut a few potatoes in there too. I'm boiling water so I have to hurry up with peeling the potatoes. I hope he will not wake up while I'm doing this. It's Thursday, the 5th of September 2019 today. Yesterday I was working till 7.30 p.m. Uh, in the garden at the parish community center because all the plants that I was taking out of my little field I put into the parish community center garden and I also was cutting the rosemary bushes and um, yeah taking out three or f no I think it has been five lavendula plants because um, three of them were dead and uh, I thought okay I have my spade with me. I needed the space for the eucalyptus plants and the hortensia. I came home at 7.45, then I was taking a quick shower, picking my boy up at my parents' house, at his grandparents' home. And then at 8 p.m. he fell asleep. This is an advent calendar that I am making for my little one. I made 24 of these little uh, bags. Um, this is filth. I'm not sure what the right English word is, but you see what it looks like. And I decided that I'm going to use two different colors. So 12 of these, 12 of these. Um, this took me also very long to finish because uh, it was very hot and I was only able to uh, sew when he was asleep. So sometimes I was sitting with the sewing machine till midnight um, and yeah, I'm happy that I finished the 24 bags. The thing that I'm doing now, today, is putting this beautiful, I hope you can see that, sparkling numbers on the bags. So I have to iron them on and I hope that they will stick. Um, this is a label called Mimis Traktor. Here, this is an Austrian label, and I found this on Amazon. And um, I have used three of her uh, iron on pictures already, and they came out very amazing. So I thought, okay, this is brilliant. So I'm ordering this, and today I'm going to put them on here. And then the advent calendar is finally done. I put on all the numbers. Uh, and now it's time to iron. Okay, I finished with the advent calendar and it turned out amazing. So this is the outcome. And I just want to show you the sparkling numbers. They look so beautiful, so pretty. The 24 is a little bit bigger than the other ones. look perfect and uh, yeah it has been a few hours since I did this because um, I have been putting my little one to sleep for almost two hours in the afternoon we are going to play a little bit outside and then uh, it's time for bath dinner and bed so this was my project for today no gardening work but finishing this, so I'm very happy with the result.